Lowry. We hope that everyone has had a great week around campus and online. And now for school news. <laughs> Hi, DIS. This is Trent with your school news. This semester, Durham has started a Student of the Month program to inspire a school culture that is encouraging, supporting, and caring. We hope to instill a foundation of thoughtfulness in our school and focus on students who show kindness to others. The following students were nominated by their homeroom teachers for displaying these positive behaviors. From fifth grade, we have From sixth grade, we have Hi, DIS. I'm Natalie with your school news. A wonderful announcement from our library, Miss Librarian Miss Green. We're so excited that our virtual um, screen book fair will be on will be March first through March fourteenth. All our stu all students have have had a fun watching the book fair preview when they visit the library with their LA classes last week and this week. Students are creating their wish lists on the Scholastic Book Fair website. Hello DIS, I'm Lindy and I'm here with your school news. The website is available on, our, on your ELA's Teachers Canvas page. Remember there is free shipping on any book only orders of $25 or more. Thank you for supporting our spring book fair. Back to you KDUR. Back to you KDUR. Back to you KDUR. <laughs> if you have a birthday on Friday, March 5th, you share a birthday with guitarist John Frusciante, 51, actor Jake Lloyd, 32, and Instagram influencer Madison Beard, 22. If you have a birthday on Saturday, March 6th, you share a birthday with rapper Tyler the Creator, 30, NBA legend Shaq O'Neal, 49, painter Michelangelo, and musician David Gilmore, 75. If you have a birthday on Sunday, March 7th, you share a birthday with actress Jenna Fisher, 47, actress Laura Prepon, 40, actor Ryan Cranston, 65, and comedian Wanda Sykes, 57. If you have a birthday on Monday, March 8th, you share a birthday with actor Freddie Prince Jr., 45, actor James Van Der Beek, uh, 44, and journalist Lester Holt, 62. If you have a birthday on March 9th, you share a birthday with Oscar Isaac, 42, rapper Bow Wow, 34, musician John Cale, 79, and Min Juni of BTS, 28. If you have a birthday on Wednesday, March 10th, you share a birthday with rapper Bad Bunny, 27, singer Carrie Underwood, 28, actress Olivia Wilde, 37, actor Chuck Norris, 81, still alive, <laughs> singer Rob Ben Thick, 44, actress, actress Sharon Stone, 63, and music producer Timbaland, 49, and actor Joan Hamm, for, also 49. Good. If you have a birthday on Thursday, March 11, you share a birthday with NBA player Anthony Davis, who's 28, actor John Barrowman, 54, and actor jo Johnny Knoxville, actor Terrence Howard, 52, Pop singer Leah Swole, 53, and, and musician Joel Madden, 42. Back to you, hey you are! world news. Hi DIS, this is Reese and I'm here with your world news. 
No matter how you measure it, minus 50 degrees Celsius or minus 58 degrees Fahrenheit, it's a temperature frigid enough to give someone frostbite just thinking about it. Well, it wasn't a fit night out from Saskatchewan farm when a calf that couldn't wait till the weather warmed up recently decided to make its na natal? natal natal debut. Bony Hodoroko had gone out to check on her up on her pregnant heifer. Yes, only to find the cow's newborn pro progeny had arrived ahead of schedule and was already in danger from the elements. It just wasn't warm enough, Podoroko told CBC News. A baby is wet when it's born and she was already getting cold and her ears were starting to freeze. So I took her to the heated shop and that's where she stayed. Along with the heater, the as yet to be named girl uh, calf has been getting an extremely warm reception from Podoroko's collie, Mickey. In fact, when the baby isn't in the barn with her mom, the pair are pretty much inseparable. Hi, I'm Matthew Lee with World News. President Joe Biden announced yesterday that the U.S. will have enough coronavirus vaccines for every adult by the end of May. This will be two months earlier than previously expected. What's up, DS? I'm Brandy with your World News. The announcement came on Wednesday from Prime Minister Boris Johnson. He said there has been a ban made on fossil fuel gas. Um, so the announcement came on Wednesday from Prime Minister Boris Johnson. He said the ban would be a part of a border green industrial revolution in which 12 billion pounds, $16 billion would be spent on other projects as well, such as a proposed quadrupling of offshore wind energy, investing in hydro and nuclear powers, making homes and offices for more efficient power and more. Back to you, KDUR. Back to you, KDUR. Back to you, KDUR. Hello, DIS, this is KDUR. I'm Alex. We hope that everyone has had a great week around campus and online. And now for weather. Hi, DIS, this is Isabella with weather. Today, it'll be a high of 64 degrees and a low of 45 degrees, partly sunny. Tomorrow, Saturday, it will be a high of 64 degrees and a low of 45 degrees, sunny. On Sunday, it'll be a high of 64 degrees and a low of 48 degrees, partly sunny. Hi, KDUR. This is Dylan Patel with your weather. Um, on Monday, it's going to be partly cloudy again with 70 degrees. Tuesday, it's going to be cloudy and it's going to be 73 degrees. Wednesday, there's going to be a thunderstorm with a 30% chance of rain, 75 degrees. On Thursday, it'll be a high of 75 degrees and a low of 55 degrees, partly sunny. And Friday, uh, Thunderstorms with a 30% chance of rain, oh, no. and it's 73 degrees. Back to you, KDUR. And back to you, KDUR. <laughs> and now for rotation. Hi, I'm Colton with your rotation and some fun facts. The first stroller was pulled by a goat. Did you know that Martin Luther King got a C in public speaking? Neil Armstrong's hair was sold in 2004 for $3,000. Weird. Baseball umpires used to sit in rocking chairs. Hey, this is actually through rotation, and today I'll be telling you what national holiday it is. So today is actually National Reel of Film Day, so I guess when you get home, you should go watch your favorite movie so that you can enjoy National Reel of Film Day. Tomorrow, there actually is no national holiday, so there's nothing for me to really tell you. On Sunday is National Power Plant Day. Pretty interesting. On Monday is is International Women's Day, so you should go appreciate your mom or your grandmother who, or whoever you have with you in your life right now. On Tuesday is National False Teeth Day, so if any of you guys out there have false teeth, Tuesday's your day. On Wednesday is National Bagpipe Day, so just go listen to your favorite bagpipe music. And finally, on Thursday is National Dream Day, so you can go daydream all day after school. Hi, KUR. I'm Grant with your rotation. A snack stable for four decades, Pringles, are now sold in over 140 countries. This is a fact that you may not know. In 1956, Procter and Gamble assigned a task, a task to a chemist, Frederick J. Bohr, to create a new kind of snack that people would like. And 
due to complaints about broken, greasy, and stale chips. As and so the creation was dubbed Pringles. Hello, DIS. I'm Nate with your rotation. Why? Why did the Eminem go to school? Why did the Eminem go to school? Why? Because it wanted to be a smarty. Oh. Ah. Oh. Why did the Why did the gym close down? Why did the gym close down? Because it didn't work out. Oh. Oh. Oh, wow. Back to you, KDR. That's all. Back to you, KDR. Nice. Okay, back to you, KDR. Oh. Back to you, KDR. And now for sports. Hi, Dennis. I'm K this is Kaylee with your sports. On Monday at 2 5 p.m., the Giants played the Rangers. And. Hi, I'm Cooper, and I'm with your sports. On Sunday, the Hornets went against the Kings, and the Hornets won a tight game 127 to 126. In spring training, the Rangers lost against the Royals 2 3. And Shin Su Chu has gone to the Korean League. Hello, Diaz. This is KDUR. I'm Tomas Carbonell with your sports. This weekend, we have different options to support our Dragons athletes. In softball, Turf Wars Varsity Softball Tournament 2021 today, Friday, March 5th at 4 p.m. And tomorrow, Saturday, March 6th at 8 a.m. In baseball, DFW Clash Baseball Tournament tomorrow, Saturday, March 6th at 8 a.m. In wrestling and Carroll High School, both Carroll Boys Varsity and Girls Varsity Wrestling versus LD Bell Hebron Tri today at 5.30 p.m. In boys soccer at Carroll Senior High School, Carroll Boys F JV V Soccer versus Timber Creek this afternoon at Dragon Stadium. Freshman team plays at 4.30 p.m. Junior varsity team plays at 6 p.m. And varsity team plays at 7.30 p.m. If you're going to assist in any of these events, please remember to wear your mask and keep the safety protocols. Back to you, KDUR. <laughs> Back to you, KDUR. That's it for now. Back to you, KDUR. Have a great week, DIS, and we'll see you next week. Have a great week, DIS, and we'll see you around campus. Have a great week, DIS, and we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.